Oh, I can't wait to meet our new pet. What is it, a dog, a cat, a slipper? <laughs> oh, I knew I should have never let you choose. Now, listen, before you start throwing things at me, let me tell you what I learned at the pet shop. Did you know that pets actually need to be fed? What? <laughs> they don't prepare their own meals? Not even cereal. And they have to be cared for, their cages cleaned, and in some cases, take them for a walk. <laughs> That's when the pet shop owner showed me this slipper. You see, he doesn't need any of those things. He is kind of cute. The cutest one in the shop. Oh, his fur is very soft. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> OK, we can keep him. Has he got a name? I was thinking about Araxi Leroyd. Oh, everyone calls their pet that. How about Spot? Spot it is! Well, let's just hope Spot isn't scared of humans because it's time for Danny's house! Oh. <laughs> hey, guys, my name's Danny and this... ..is their best friend, Jack. Fabulous. My name's Danny and this... ..is her brother, Max. And his best friend, Ben. As I was saying, my name's Danny and this... ..is her friend, Ruby. And I'm her sister, Maisie. And I'm Danny and this is the brilliant... Oh. Oh. Watch out, it gets pretty hairy. <laughs> we can't do any more. The rest is up to nature. I just hope we've done enough to save his toenail. <laughs> it was awful, wasn't it? Not awful. It's hard to get worked up about a toenail. Tell me about it. <laughs> Last week I was battling a wart, and then the week before I had to get emotional over a foot pustule. My story went suck. Can't you just talk to the writers? Well, I've tried, but they're so overworked. They said if I can come up with anything better, then I'll use it. Well, then that's what we'll do. What, like a brainstorm? Exactly like a brainstorm. And I've just the thing to help. Thinking cap. I bought them off this guy on the street. He said they give you special powers. I'm thinking of selling them. Yeah. Definitely feel smarter. <laughs> What do you think? Do you reckon I've got a shot at making Britain's Got Weird Talent? I don't know. Reckon's easy. My baby cousin does it all the time. Oh, you've got a bit of weird talent. As a matter of fact, I do. I'm the school champion at armpit farting. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we can't come up with one decent idea. And these clearly don't work. <laughs> Must be a faulty batch. <laughs> oh, saved by the bell. Whoever it is, I hope they bring us a change of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Help me, I've been one animal! Oh, for goodness sake, Danny, pull yourself together. Truffle. What has Mummy said about licking strange objects? <laughs> 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 I was surprised I was just working on some storylines, actually. I'm glad you're in, Danny. My dog sitter has developed an allergy to dogs, so I need you to look after Truffle. I don't know anything about dogs. Which is why I brought the instruction manual, bath time manual, and feeding manual. <laughs> and storybook. <laughs> Everything you need in these. Shan't be long, a couple of hours, probably more. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thought some tunes might help our brainstorming. I think it's going to take a bit more than Justin Bieber to help us now. <laughs> that was Zarina. Apparently, her dog sitter has developed an allergy to dogs. So, I've got to look after Truffles here. Oh, he's so sweet. I'm sure he'd be no trouble at all. After this, Zarina's going to aim me big time. So, if we come up with a cracking story, then she'll have no choice but to let me do it. <laughs> what do I say? Dog's got taste. Mega Boyd has to admit that was epic. Told you, I'm a shoe in for Britain's got weird talents. I don't know, the dudes who really stand out on the show could do loads of weird things. They're like multi weird talented. Then we'll have to find ourselves some more weird talents.
We'll start with these. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how many we can eat in one minute. If it's more than ten, then that of talent. <laughs> that was brilliant. You two were so in sync, like Jedward, if they had fur and weren't related. <laughs> no, these two are way better than Jedward, and I'm pretty sure everyone else will agree. I just uploaded the performance to my blog. Are you sure that's a good idea, Jack? Truffle's a dog, not a performing monkey. Don't worry about it, Reeves. The only people that read Jack's blog are Jack and his nan. <laughs> oh, that's probably her now. <laughs> ah, actually, it's not my nan. It's my mum. <laughs> I'm an old French teacher. What's going on? That clip you uploaded, I'm getting loads of texts about it. <laughs> I don't believe it. My blog's had more than 1,000 hits already. <laughs> 1,000 people have seen me singing. You and Truffle singing? Well, if I'd known having a pooch as a partner would have got me this much attention, I would have gone down the pet shop ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Danny and her dog show. On the sofa later, we've got Ron, who swallowed his own foot, and a lady who married a llama. Oh, looks like we're in for an exciting show, isn't that right, dog? Woof, <laughs> woof! <laughs> well, that's a big pause up from the dog, but now, the weather from yesterday. And we're clear. You totally just stole my line. You're a dog, you don't have lines. That's not what it says in my contract. I'm so gonna call my agent. And we're back in five, four... Steal my line again, three, and you dog two. meat. <laughs> we're up to 5,000 hits, and you and Truffle are trending on the blogosphere. I think it's safe to say you two have become officially the internet's latest sensation. I take it that's a good thing. Of course it is. So I need to brainstorm now, because you two are properly super-duper get-free-clothes famous. <laughs> What about Truffle? You know, my uncle had a dog that got famous in a toilet roll ad. Oh, not the one where the dog gets all tied up in the toilet paper and falls into the loo? Mm. I love that ad. Yeah, you and everyone else. But then my uncle's dog got replaced and his fame ended. Oh, that poor little pooch spent the rest of his days growling whenever he saw a toilet roll. Well, that's not going to happen to Truffle. Believe me, he'll be thanking us when all the doggy biscuits and Diamante dog collars come flooding in. Well, what do you think, Danny? I'm pleased I'm properly famous, but being one half of a doggy duo wasn't exactly the master plan. <laughs> but it might mean my storylines improve when Serena... Oh, yeah. Serena. It's fine. Maybe she hasn't even seen the video. Yeah. <laughs> Danny, I've seen the video. Let me in now. Well, maybe she has. She's going to kill me. <laughs> no, clever, clever little person, you. Oh, <laughs> oh my little truffle. I missed you, but I see you've been a busy boy whilst Mummy's been having her moustache waxed. <laughs> so, does this mean you're not mad about the video? I'm mad about the video? This is the best thing that could have happened. Is it? All this hoo-ha <laughs> on the interwebby about you and Truffles has put the McCurties in the spotlight. Everybody wants to see more of Nurse Wood Magnet and that cute little doggy scene. <laughs> they do. Absolute mont. I've had journos and agents calling me non-stop. Anyway, I've organised the schedule. Interviews in the day, photo shoots in the evening. Truffle looks best by moonlight. <laughs> Serena, wait. This is all a lot for me to take in. I mean, can't I think about it first? All right. What do you want? Money, <laughs> clothes, a lifetime supply of thick tap? No, it's just, um, well, recently my storylines on McCurtys have been a little, um, weak. <laughs> <laughs> you want better storylines? OK. <laughs> Cooperate with me on this and I'll make sure Nurse Wood Magnet's role in the show is beefed up. Uh, uh, really? In the meantime, chop, chop. You have lots to prepare for. Thanks, Serena. I won't let you down. You better not. I have big plans for you and Truffles. <laughs> By the time I finish, I'll be more famous than fish and chips. <laughs> Didn't realise they sang too? Of course they don't sing. They're food. <laughs> I can see I'm going to have to let Truffle do the talking. <laughs> well, at least we don't have to do any more brainstorming. I just hope you know what you're doing, cos you're dragging Truffle along for the ride, whether he likes it or not. Do you know, little dude, that, well, only one of us can make the cut, and let's face it, Megaboy has got this weird talent thing sewn up. Oh, really? Guess <laughs> <laughs> that's one weird talent you haven't get sewn up, then. Oh, it's like that, is it? 
Well, Megaboy says bring it on. Let the battle of weird talents commence. Minister, if he wants Stanley and Truffle to perform at Downing Street, then the cat has to go. <laughs> mm, mm, the hamsters are fine. Um, can you make sure you do the hair? It has a tendency to clump. <laughs> Not Truffles, Danny's. <laughs> Computer boy, what are our numbers at now? Oh, uh, just past one mil. And I prefer virtual organiser. <laughs> Zarina's agreed to let me process their online traffic. Came up with the title myself. It's pretty catchy, right? I just can't believe how far this is all gone. Yeah, I know, right? Danny and Truffle are like the hottest things out there. Do you know their clothing line is sold out like that? They have a clothing line. <laughs> <It's cute. laughs> I can't wait for their homeware range. Apparently they're bringing out Danny and Truffle shaped coffee mugs. A big brown fluffy one will be fine. Thank you. Ciao. Hi. So you're really okay about letting Truffle be a part of all this? Aren't you worried you might get scared? You know, fans can get pretty out of control. I heard that our Pratt's almost lost an eye once because someone threw a vampire tooth at him. <laughs> Who are you anyway? And why are you asking me so many questions? Oh, I'm Ruby, Danny's personal trainer, and I just oh, wanted... Oh, personal trainer, eh? Oh, I suppose Truffle could use one. They say the camera puts £10 on. Oh, but Why I... don't you devise an exercise programme for him and get me a latte while you're at it? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Try something else. Pet spot? <laughs> Nothing. I think we should get a different pet. You One know. that actually does something. Shh, he'll hear you. It's not like he's gonna bite me. Face it, Spot's boring. I'll just give him one more chance. Fetch obviously isn't his game. Maybe we could teach him a trick. Ready, Spot? Roll over. <laughs> Jump up and down. <laughs> Give me a paw. <laughs> Wiggle something. Anything! <laughs> As the latest overnight sensation, has becoming uber famous changed you? Oh, not at all. I'm still the same down to earth, talented yet modest singer stroke actress I've always been. <laughs> and what about Truffle? Has fame changed you? <laughs> Set Truffle free! Set Truffle free! Oh, um, uh, well, sorry. Uh, excuse me just for a moment. I mean, our uh, fans can get a bit overexcited. Okay. Save truffle free! What are you doing? Saving truffle? Remember my uncle's dog, the one from the toilet, all lad? Well, this is him now. <laughs> what happened? He got depressed and turned to food. He ate so much his stomach outgrew his legs. In the end, he had to strap him to a skateboard just to move him. And he's not the only one. Bernie Brush, Basil's uncle. Now, he was doing really well until his perky little nephew came along. Now he spends his days busking just to make ends meet. Oh, <laughs> and Jimmy, 102nd Dalmatian. No, hundreds of them. Once famous, now just old and forgotten. You don't want that to happen to Truffle, do you? Of course not. Well, then you need to put a stop to this. It's not that simple. Zarina can be really stubborn. She once fired an assistant for suggesting that she switches to decaf coffee. <laughs> Danny, I know you. And I know you'll do the right thing. Latest goss. Orders for the McHurtys DVD have gone through the roof. Fabulous much. Much fabulous. I had no idea that my dog sitter contracting a rare allergy to dogs could be this marvellous. <laughs> uh, Danny, I now see that asking you, my very last choice, to look after Truffle was the best idea I've ever had. Mm, that's really nice, Siri. It's my boss. They're thinking of a spin-off for you and Truffle. Doggy doctors! <laughs> Forget better storylines, Danny. You've got your own show. <laughs> Computer boy, any experience in showbiz? Me? Experience in showbiz? <laughs> well, they don't call me Hollywood Jack for nothing. <laughs> Good, because Truffle needs an agent and I want you to do it. Let's say 5% cut and one week's holiday. Make that 3%, a weekend away break, and you got yourself a deal. <laughs> deal? <laughs> Did Francie take a time out from the weird stuff? Do something just plain funny? I could do it a bit. Totally weirdy do. Did you see that picture of Danny on the wall?
thought would be really funny, you going in there and hanging the banner back up. Oh, and a nice big bone. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. I guess exploiting innocent animals is hungry work, hey? No, not really. I'm just so busy, I figured I'd eat all three meals now and get them over with. So you're really OK about all the celebrity truffle stuff? OK with it. I'm surfing this fame wave all the way, baby. I just signed up Truffle as a werewolf in the new Twilight film. My cut is going to keep me in donuts for years. Animal celebs, that's the way to get rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Marjorie. Send them in. Hey, I know you. Yeah, you're the dog from the chat show, right? I am indeed, and I'm in need of representation. Well, I am looking to take on new clients. Only problem is... I got enough dogs in my books. No problem. I'm very versatile. All right. I got a job. But it's for an elephant. Well, I can do an elephant. Watch this. Sorry. I'm not really getting that elephant vibe. Your two o'clock is here. Thank you, Susie. Let me try again. I can do an elephant. I was Dumbo and Panto twice. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but I gotta see an ant about a noodle ad. <laughs> oh. Please don't say that was my two o'clock. Does that mean I get more time? Get out! <laughs> Auntie? <laughs> out! <laughs> If you could just see how lonely they become. Oh. Jack, I need your help. Truffle's treadmill's broken. Oh. Truffle is a treadmill. What next? <laughs> Private jet. Not likely. I've seen the waiting list for those things. It's ginormous. Look, Ruby, I know you mean well, and I'm sorry I can't help you out, but this has got to stop. Yeah, Danny's right. All this chat about sad, lonely animals is putting my client on a downer. <laughs> Don't she's barely touched the caviar shoes? I just can't believe how little you two care. Oh, we care. It's just I'm getting my own show. That's what I've always wanted. Yeah, and Truffle will be well looked after. He won't end up like your uncle's dog, I promise. For starters, I'm not letting him retire until I can afford my own donut factory. Donut factory? <laughs> Mega Boy thought he was never going to escape. That was epic. <laughs> <laughs> What's a donut factory? Kind of savory and sweet at the same time. How does that not make Gluten. Sense? What's it got to do with the donut? Glucose. Maisie, how many times do I have to tell you? Oh, I'm only stroking them. You and Pet shouldn't mix. Remember what happened to the last thing you stroked? Buried in the garden. I was young. No one told me a goldfish shouldn't be handled. Shoot. Go. What's so funny? Dude, you just got so Darth Vader by your sister. Move away from the dog. Leave living things alone. Stop killing pets. Doesn't mean she's the boss of me. If I wanted that dog, then I'd have him. Then prove it. That's Truffle the singing dog. We get him on our act, we're a dead cert for Britain's Got Weird Talent. Then consider that dog ours. Staff these days. Yeah, sorry, she can get a bit passionate. But um, don't you think she might have a point? Whatever do you mean? Well, what happens when all the fame's gone? You know, and all the fans have moved on, and Truffle's just left with memories and stale caviar chews. That will never happen. <laughs> caviar chews don't go stale. Oh no, you're missing my point. Um, I'm worried about truffles. And you don't think I am? I would never let anything bad happen to my little truffle waffle. In fact, I'm so outraged, I'm beginning to rethink the spin-off show. No, no, don't do that. It's, it's the hairspray. It's making me say crazy things. Just don't know me. But I can do. <laughs> Danny? Have you seen Truffle? No, why? Uh, it, it seems he may have... disappeared. <laughs> truffle disappeared? Of course he hasn't. It's just Ruby trying to make a point. No, she was with me the whole time. She's out looking for him now. Oh, then it seems Truffle may have disappeared. Oh, great. <laughs> My only client's disappeared. I'm finished. <laughs> one dog successfully kidnapped. Many congrats. One problemo, though. 
No animals. Oh, uh, I guess we better return them then. Whoa, hold on there, little dude. Let's think about this. In our possession, a very talented, very famous dog. People are going to want him back. People who can afford to pay to get him back. You want to get a ransom for him? Doesn't seem fair to let your bravery go unrewarded. <laughs> Make a good point. Right, so, what do we want? Mm, a lifetime supply of chocolate. And what about a pony? I've always wanted one of those. Who's <laughs> time? Shockwaves around the showbiz world as new hits us that Trottle the singing dog has been kidnapped. Danny, his singing partner, has made an emotional statement. Please let Truffle go. <laughs> He's just your average pet. Apart from being super famous and rich. And if you do return him, we promise a signed photo and a CD of our greatest hit. Thank you. <laughs> Police are on the case and have warned the kidnappers the punishment will be severe. Criminals caught in a kidnap attempt on the Queen's Corgis were sentenced to one year clearing up zoo poo. Dude, we cannot get caught. Mega Boy doesn't do poo. And you think I do? Right, so what do you do now? Stick with the plan and add more stuff. Our situation just got way worse, so let's make it worth it. They've even cut out letters from a newspaper to remain anonymous. Maybe it's the kidnap. What does it say? Set truffle free. Pets belong in a cage, not on stage. <laughs> oh, sorry, that one's from me. <laughs> oh, truffle! Mummy's so sorry. <laughs> this is all your fault, Daddy. If you hadn't sung that duet with him, truffle wouldn't be famous. You said it was the best thing that ever happened. <laughs> and if anyone's to blame, it's. Jack for putting in the internet in the first place. <laughs> Ruby's to blame. <laughs> she kept going on about free and truffle, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. yeah, yeah, we, we go on. on and I Truffle back, leave a bag filled with the following items back here in one hour. The kidnappers, kiss kiss. <laughs> top top people, you heard the kidnappers. One hour. <laughs> <laughs> They've taken their bit. It's out of our hands now. Mega Boy just hopes they find an eye of Newt in the next hour. Sorry, sent good at the time. So what do we do now? We do what any decent dog nappers do. We power nap. <laughs> We're gonna need the energy to go through all that chocolate. Good thinking. Right, that's it. We bought out every chocolate stand in a mile radius. Mm -hmm. I almost had fisticuffs with a granny over the Dairy Moo bar. Luckily, I outran her mobility buggy. Well, it's not a lifetime supply, but it'll keep them going for a while. Five minutes, people. What's left on the list? Right, uh, chocolate, check. Mm -hmm. Pony. Oh! This is all I could find. Uh, eye of Newt. That's going to be a toughie. Mm. Um, works wonders on my eye bags. <laughs> Next. Uh, there's only one left. MP3 player. I haven't got one. Have any of you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors? Come on. <laughs> Come off it. Give it up! <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hold on, what about the MP3 player? Have you... Oh, that's it! You can't just talk! Oh, awesome. Trouble! Oh, Trouble! Oh, oh, I love you! I love you! Oh, 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 no. That's it. Everything's cancelled. Truffle is officially retired from show business. What about the spin-off show? Not going to happen. Don't worry, Danny. Thanks to you and Truffle, McCurtis is more popular than ever and your role's about to get a lot busier. Yes. <laughs> well, I can't say I'm not pleased, but sorry how things turned out. No, I'm sorry. You were the only person looking after Truffle's interests, and I didn't listen, and Truffle suffered. <laughs> Never again. From now on, the only screen Truffle's going to be working is sunscreen, because we're off on our holes. <laughs> I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I'd be lying. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. 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 Well. Looks like everything worked out for the best. I wouldn't say that. I lost my only client. Who wants an agent with no clients? Look on the bright side. You still have us. Oh, <laughs> <me>. <laughs> Ah, looks like Truffle left us a little present. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.
Is okay. It's only chocolate. Chocolate? But... Mm. Oh. <laughs> Caught red-handed. More like chocolate-handed. I can't believe you two are the kidnappers. Well, yes, actually I can. Keep him up, Colette. Dude, I'm cool. I don't care who put you up to it. The fact is you've been caught. And you two are going to have to pay. Ooh. And I think I know how. <laughs> you what now? You guys wanted to develop a weird talent. We're just helping you fulfil your dream. And it's good to see Truffle's gym equipment isn't going to waste. <laughs> <laughs> More bandages! Go! Stop! It's so cool they've made Nurse Wood Magnet head of the whole department. The doctors can take it from here. Good work, everyone. The dandruff department is once again under control. <laughs> <laughs> they said Nurse Wood Magnet would get busier, and head of the department is more work. I can see how picking specs of dandruff off a patient could be taxing. <laughs> Did you get us a new pet? I did, and you won't be disappointed. I got us a Zuba fish! A fish? That's as lame as the slipper. Not this one. Take a look. Oh, but first, you're going to need these. Don't be ridiculous. It's a fish. <laughs> He's a feisty one, all right? Um, I think I might use that, actually. Yes. Um, oh, no. Bonding. I'll leave them to it. <laughs> 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 